Welcome back to the MVA session on Device Guard. Uh, Nate, just a moment ago, showed us how to go about getting started with uh, configurable CI policies. And now, Nate, if you don't mind, I'd love to talk a little bit about how do you take existing applications and actually get them to run on a system that you just locked down with Config CI. Right. With existing applications, there are really three options here. The first is to do all of your code signing with your own certs. So if, if your enterprise has um, signing certs that they trust, uh, they can do that there. The second option is to actually extend the, uh, the code integrity policy to cover this new application that we now want to run. And the third option, which is what we'll actually demo, is to use Package Inspector to scan this application as it's being installed and then signing that catalog file. So let's go ahead and, and jump into that. So now we're going back to the computer that we used from the first demo that had a code integrity policy and audit mode. It's important to, when running Package Inspector, to use a device that's in audit mode so that we can actually capture the uh, installer and all of the files that are uh, run when uh, an application is being installed. So to demonstrate how this works, um, I will start Package Inspector. And Package Inspector itself is actually a tool that comes part of Windows? Uh, Package Inspector itself, uh, yes, comes <laughs> with Windows. Fantastic. And while Package Inspector is running, I will copy this installer um, for 7-zip to the desktop and then install 7-zip. And now why did you copy it to the desktop? Uh, we, so Package Inspector actually needs to capture the files that the installer writes to the system. So because of that, we need the installer on the system itself. So in order to in include the installer as part of the trusted package, you have to write it to the disk as well. Correct. Awesome. It has to be written onto the disk. Uh, so that is this installer right here for 7-zip. I will go ahead and allow. And again, this is running in audit mode. I will go ahead and hit install. And again, while this is installing, Package Inspector is tracking and capturing all of the files that are being written. Now that installation is complete, I will actually go ahead and open 7-zip. And you're doing this because some applications download files after they've been installed and on first launch, is that, uh, is that correct? That's correct. On first launch, some applications will download additional files. So this way, Package Inspector can also capture those files. Outstanding. Now that 7-zip is running, uh, we can go ahead and stop Package Inspector, confident that we've captured what we need to for the purposes of our catalog. Here is the stop scan command. And now, as the command is stopped, you'll notice that there have been two files created here at the bottom of my desktop. There's 7-zip catalog.cdf and the catalog itself. The CDF file is of interest. Um, CDF actually uh, contains details about the catalog. So it's basically the manifest of what files got written to the system while Package Inspector was running. Yes. All right, so uh, here we have our catalog definition file. and has a little bit of info on what catalog files were generated during the package inspector scan. Uh, so now that you know what that looks like, uh, the next step for us here is to take this 7-zip uh, catalog and actually get this file signed. We can do that by going into the device guard signing portal. So I'll show you guys that process right now. Up here, we're back in the Windows Store for Business. We're already logged in. And the first uh, option here is to upload and sign catalog and policy files for use with device guard which is exactly what we were looking for. Uh, navigate to our 7-zip catalog file, right here, 7-zip catalog. And this is now being uploaded. I will now click Sign. And once signing is complete, I can download the signed catalog file. And here we go. You can also view um, the signature to confirm that it actually has been signed. So next, uh, what we'll be doing is taking this catalog file, which is now signed, and bringing it over to our other test machine, on which we have a code integrity policy running in enforcement mode. Once we bring this catalog file to that machine and apply it, the uh, 7-zip application should now run, even though the code integrity policy in enforcement mode was blocking it. All right, so here you see the second machine 
This one, as a reminder, is running a code integrity policy in enforcement mode. So we don't expect the 7-zip application to run, uh, the installer, that is. Uh, so to just to double check, yeah, you can see here that the installer is being blocked by device guard code integrity policy. But uh, what we've done is created the 7-zip catalog file. And this will help us run 7-zip. So first, let me move this to the desktop. And what I'll do now is run a command um, called sign tool. This is a tool that you can get for free in the Windows SDK. Uh, and basically, uh, this will place the sign catalog file where it needs to be. Catalog added successfully. Now that the catalog has been added, we can go back to the installer. And the code integrity policy now trusts this installer to run. So we have achieved that. So that's pretty cool. So using package inspector in combination with a sign tool and the BSP, the business store for portal, a uh, business store portal for Windows, uh, you actually can now take your existing line of business apps and get them to run on your device card lockdown systems. Um, That's right. And since you were using 7-Zip as an example, I guess obviously you can even do this for third-party applications, not just your internal line of business apps. Totally. Um, so you can, you can apply this process to any line of business app, third-party. Um, you can use Package Inspector and run the installer, and all of these uh, things will apply, and the catalog can be added to the policy, um, which will then trust those line of business apps to run. Outstanding. Okay, Nate. Well, uh, thank you for showing us that. And uh, we will be back actually in a moment. I'll be uh, joined by uh, Dune Desermo, and we're going to talk about a new feature in Windows 10 uh, coming up called Managed Installer.